Welcome into another edition of What's the Scoop presented by Perry's Ice Cream, Maddie Glab, alongside Vaughn Miller, fresh off of a workout. Vaughn, unfortunately not with the team for the rest of the season on the field, but you're with the team in a lot of other ways. Where are you at now in your rehab journey? Uh, rehab is good. Um, I feel like, you know, it's 75% mental. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a great spot, you know, mentally. I'm here with the guys, you know, it's the same role, same, uh, same leadership role. They're talking about championships and what it takes to get there. The aspect of thinking of injuries or setback as majority of it being mental, is that something that you have learned in your NFL days, in your NFL years, um, since you've been in the league because you have faced injuries before? Yeah, I think it's just timing and where I'm, where I'm at. Um, and of course, you know, I've been through it before. So before like you, you get your first you know, injury and you're like, man, it's over, will I be Will I be the same player I was before? And then you get through it and you come back and you're the same player and better and you get hurt again and then somehow you just figure a way to get up out of that. So that's just my mentality. I come in each and every day. I'm always uh, looking for, is there a record that I can break? Am I ahead of schedule? Um, am I doing everything that I possibly can do at home or um, you know, here at the facility? It's still the same mindset that I had you know, towards playing football. I'm just you know, redirecting that towards rehab. How much fun is it that you still get to be around the team and around your teammates? I feel like you guys have grown a really cool relationship over the last year. What is it like to, to still be that present with them? Oh, it feels good. You know, and, and instead of looking at ways that I'm not involved in the team, I try to look for ways that I can be more involved with the team. And that's, whether that's lifting with the guys or going to meetings with the guys or, you know, meeting with Brandon Bean, you know, about like, what does it take to be you know, a Hall of Fame GM like him. What does it take to, you know, build up, you know, a team like this? So shadowing Brandon Bean for a day in, in the cards for you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great, man. You know, um, you know, whenever I get an opportunity to do it, man, everybody knows that I, that I love Brandon Bean. I, I love the job that he's done. And I want to figure out a way that I can be like that. Mm -hmm. You know, how do I, you know, create, you know, some of the same magic that, that he's done. Speaking of developing, what has it been like? How impressed have you been with watching some of the younger defensive linemen grow right up before your eyes from that pass rush summit that you hosted in the off season. Yeah, it's, it's impressive, and um, I feel like a, a, a proud, you know, older brother. <laughs> it's more of a luxury, you know, to have me out there. We have a great team without me. They had a great team last year, and this is just basically the same team that they had last year without me. So they're able to do a lot of great things. Do I want to get back out there? Do I want to contribute? Yes. Will I get back out there? Yes. It's just a matter of time. But you know, we got more than enough people to, to uphold the the standard that we've set here with the Buffalo Bills. All right, we're going to go kind of rapid fire here with some random questions. So what are three words that describe Von Miller best? Um, resilient, relentless, resourceful. Resilient, relentless, and resourceful. What is your favorite color, Von? Uh, my favorite color is uh, like earth tones. It's not just necessarily Ooh, one. I like that a I lot. I like earth tones, like tans, greens, uh, like basically camo. Camo, camo guy. And, and blacks, and I like, you know, earth tone color. What's your favorite food? You're a foodie. Favorite food is Caribbean food, any type of Caribbean food. Have you found some in Buffalo that you like? I have, I have. Good I to like hear. Uh, Brothers is, uh, is really good. I think it's downtown. They have a really good oxtail. It's really good. You have over 120 sacks. Do you remember the first one? My very first sack was Andy Dalton, second game of my rookie season. And it was probably, it was the fourth quarter last drive. I was able to, I was supposed to be outside, came out and eat, sacked Andy Dalton. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you said you watched The Last Dance mm -hmm. and it kind of impacted you as a leader. How did watching that documentary series that so many of us have watched and really loved, how did that impact you and the way that you lead your team today? Oh, because it just, you know, I just took notes on the way that Michael Jordan led. Um, you know, some of the things that he said just, you know, hit me dead in, in the chest. You know, um, he was saying that, you know, he's experienced championships and he wants his teammates to experience championships as well. It's not until you get there where you really, like, realize, like, this is what it's all about. And you have, like, these weird flashbacks to Little League football and all the dreams that you had growing up. And then all of a sudden you're here in this moment and I want my teammates you know, to feel that it's, it's, it's football heaven. And um, it's the very first time in your career where you can really exhale and like, you know, in a, in a sense of accomplishment. Your bio says that you listen to heavy metal music for mm -hmm. meditation. Mm -hmm. How do you find peace in heavy metal? I think it's just, I think it's just the calm, just being able to find calmness in 
chaos. You know, I think sometimes you gotta experience the, the chaos to really appreciate what calm is. I hear you are In the Air Tonight mm -hmm. by Phil Collins. How did that become your go-to pregame song? Uh, it became my go-to song my junior year in college. Uh, Coach Kennedy, Coach Dave Kennedy, our strength and conditioning coach, we were talking about songs to listen to before games. And he just said, Phil Collins in the, in the air tonight, listen to it, I was on the Stairmaster. I honestly felt like he was talking about each and every time I get ready to play mm -hmm. football. And um, that's just the way I, you know, associated it to my life. I love it. What are your favorite sneakers to rock? You got Adidas. a brand? Adidas, I like, I like Adidas, right now. I like the 4Ds, I like the Ultra Boost. Mm -hmm. You know, just simple shoe that you can put on with anything. What about a brand? I hear a lot of the bigger guys, a lot of our offensive linemen say, some of those luxury brands, they don't they don't love us big guys. So do you have a brand that, that love, you love? I love Carhartt. Carhartt is my favorite mm -hmm. brand. Um, Adidas, Carhartt, you know, they just go hand in hand. Do you have a favorite chain or piece of jewelry? Um, I got a Valor chain. Yes, you do. It's, it's my, huge. It's my son's It's my son's name. And on the back of it, it says, uh, right or wrong, I got your back. Love, daddy. Yeah, so it's cool. It's got like a little picture of him. Is it gonna there. go to your son once he gets old yeah, enough? Yeah, yeah, eventually when he gets old enough. I think like 21, 22. Okay. When he in the league. Gets know, the I car at 16, 21, yeah. gets the big chain, you yeah, know. Yeah, when he go to the league, I you know, let him walk across okay. you know, draft stage with it. Okay. Who's got the best swag on the team? Uh, best swag, I think, um, you know, hands down, Stefan Diggs. He just finds a way to be Next creative. Level. He just finds a way to, you know, incorporate all different types of style. And he makes it his own. You know, he's not like out here trying to, you know, he's not on Instagram looking at outfits and replicating it. He has his own lane and it's, it's impressive. For sure. You're on Twitch a lot. How did you get involved with Twitch? You do some really long streams. How fun is that to, to kind of get yeah. to connect with people in that way? Yeah, it's cool. It's just another way for me to connect with my fans. Um, it all started in 2020. You know, I was injured. You know, I started going through COVID and all of that stuff. Like, you know, I just I just got on Twitch and I started gaming and, you know, you just slowly, you know, get an appreciation for what it takes to be a big time streamer. Like, it's on video that you fell asleep during one of your streams. Does that, is that a frequent thing or is that the first nah, time that happened? That was the first time it happened. Like, I always try to just, <laughs> I just, I just go home and I stream. I just try to be consistent. Uh huh. You know, it might not always be at the same time every day, mm -hmm. but I try to get on at least once every day. And this was just one of those times where I was just forcing it, you know, to be on there. Then they started talking about me falling asleep. I was like, hey, I fell asleep. It's like, yep, you did. And they already <laughs> had the clip and everything. It was funny too, because you see my eyes like <laughs> roll back in my head. A couple more rapid fire for you. If you were on a deserted island and could bring one thing with you, what would it be? Now, golf clubs. You know, you gotta, gotta have the golf clubs. You're, you're, it's a lot of open space. You know, I can create my par threes, par four, par five. I can get real creative. I'm sure some of the terrain up there will be untouched where I can, you know, really get creative and create like a nice little golf course for me. What's your favorite app on your phone? My favorite app on my phone is Coinbase. What's your biggest fear? Does Von Miller have a fear? Of course. My Von Miller's biggest fear is not. Um, living up to um, my potential mm -hmm. and what I can do on and off the football field. That is my biggest fear is to have the pain of regret for when I'm done and I'm 50 years old and I'm looking back like, dang, I should've did this, should've did that. What's your dream vacation? Dream vacation, probably two weeks in Dubai. Are you a Jordan or a LeBron guy? Uh, I like both, one? I like both. And I'm not big on comparisons. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, they're both, you know, they're both the GOAT. Buffalo question, blue cheese or ranch? Blue cheese, of course. Who's the funniest guy on the team? Uh, funniest guy on the team? I mean, we got a lot of characters on the squad. I think Ed Oliver is always fun to be around. Shaq Lawson's always <laughs> fun to be around. What about what about most serious? Most serious? I mean, I wouldn't say this, this is not an indictment on anybody, but I think Reggie uh, Gilliam, mm -hmm. you know, he, he just has a serious demeanor about him. Best bud on the team? Best bud? Yeah. Uh, probably Terrell Dotson, you know. Texas a &M. Yeah, Aggie Brothers. Mm -hmm. um, that's my that's my dog. So. What's the best part about being a dad? You best say part. You, you've got Valor and you got one coming on the way. Yeah, I think the best part about being a dad is just spending quality time and you know just picking up on those those little personality traits that they have. Um, it could be them throwing a fit. Like I, I literally just laugh at everything. We, you know, wake up. Sometimes he like falls asleep on when we wake up and we wake up together, and he's all like, you know, like. He's, he's just like googly eyed and just like out of it. I'm like, bro, I, I do the same thing. I look I look <laughs> the same way when I wake up. So He's a think, mini me. I just think it's just, you know, spending quality time and just being around him for sure. 
Who is the most famous contact you have in your phone? I got a couple, man, from, you know, Odell Beckham to Messi to Luis Suarez to Drake. Um, you're into chicken farming, so what came first, the chicken or the egg? Settle the argument once and for all. Yeah, it had to be the all. chicken. I think over, evolu <laughs> over evolution, they just started to form these shells around, like, the bird to kind of protect it. Um, but, you know, you can't have an egg without a chicken. What's something most people don't know about chicken farming? It's really not that hard to create a, a uh, humanely raised product. And I think that's, um, I think that's where you know, um, the industry is going. People want to know how their food is, is, is grown and how it lived and how it's produced. And it's not really that hard or expensive to go that route. You just got to make a choice to go humanely raised. And since my name is behind it, I always want to have a quality product, a humanely raised product that I can be proud of. And it's not that hard to do it. Another thing that you're into is Vaughn's vision. Uh, a lot of people donated when they found out that you were hurt and mm -hmm. would be out for the rest of the season. What is that like to have something that, that you're passionate about that you can pour into other people and then also in return see Bill's Mafia really pour into it yeah, as it's well? Yeah, great. it's great, man. You know, Uncle Ben said it uh, first. It was uh, Spider-Man's uncle. He said with great power comes great responsibility and we have a huge platform and we, we have to be able to utilize it for good and you know, to have Vaughn's vision for 10 years and to get hurt and everybody just flooded, man. It's, it feels great, man, to have everybody, you know, step behind your vision and your idea. What was the best part about being on Dancing with the Stars? Not everybody gets to do that. Yep. I, I think the best part about being with Dancing with the Stars is just being around Whitney and um, really developing a, a lifelong friendship and getting to know her, getting to know her husband and getting to know her family. And not only those guys, but the infrastructure of Dancing with the Stars because they're there each and every season. They have a season. They have a season in the spring, a season mm -hmm. in the fall, and those guys stay the same. It was cool to be around them, and you know, to, to really gain an appreciation from the from the production standpoint of what it takes to create dance with the stars. What's Vaughn's biggest pet peeve? Just not. Just don't get comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, That's a good one. Just I, I don't like when people just get comfortable, especially that work, especially that people that work for me or work with me. I just hate. It just it just drives me crazy when don't somebody don't get complacent. Is, when somebody's comfortable because I can't live like that, mm -hmm. you know. Couple weird questions to finish off here. Are fish ever thirsty? No, I think you know they just absorb water throughout their whole bodies. Not only their gills, they use their gills to breathe, but I think they're just they just absorb water. Where does a thought go when it's forgotten? A thought it just goes into oblivion. <laughs> it just goes into oblivion. Which orange came first, the fruit or the color? Yeah, the fruit, for sure. Do you believe in aliens? I do. I mean, this, the universe is just so huge, and you know, it's just kind of, it's hard for me to believe that we are the only intelligent life in the whole entire universe. Are eyebrows facial hair? Yes, they ain't on your face. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream flavor? It really depends. Like, I could go, you know, strawberry, I could go, Vanilla, I could go chocolate, I could go a scoop of all three. Okay, and who are you sharing your ice cream with? I share my ice cream with my son. That's really the only person where I feel like okay to like put the spoon in my mouth, put the spoon in his mouth, <laughs> and go like back and forth, so. Von Miller, and in addition of What's the Scoop presented by <laughs> Paris Ice Cream.